sixpence would be used to buy what? Like patty? Uh, yes, you could get a patty for sixpence. So ah. and the bus fare mm -hmm. was for uh, each stage of the bus fare was on the trucker. Okay. So if you have three stages to go through, mm -hmm. nine pence, not even a shilling. Okay. Both Nathan's and Issa's and London Shop were department stores. Okay. Issa's and Nathan's were the first stores to install an escalator. Today on Kareem's Quest Love Jamaica edition, I'll be learning about a lot of the monies that we used in the 60s and 70s from Cecile Clayton, a retired deputy registrar at the University of the West Indies. She's going to recollect what it was like for her walking these streets of downtown and going into the various stores, as well as using sixpence to buy our lunch at Bruce's party. Travel through Jamaica with me. Kareem Latouche as I explore our rich landscape and creative personalities. Get to see some parts of Jamaica that you may not know or may have overlooked. Nowhere is too far, too muddy or too high. I'll be driving through the 14 parishes and talking to vendors and community members to get the true stories of the various places. This is Kareem's Quest. How old were you in 1962? I would have been 14. Okay then. Yes, I'm um, so born 48, so 58, I was 10. Yeah, I would have been 14. What school did you attend? High school did you attend? First, uh, Fernport. Mm -hmm. I was uh, a boarding Fernport seemed to have been a very popular high school. Yeah, well, it was a boarding school mm -hmm. and a lot of people who felt. Go ahead. By, by Mrs. I.B. Simpson, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Iris Simpson. She, she founded it. Mm -hmm and it was a go-to place for people who wanted like a finishing thing for their children and stuff you know to board i don't know why my mother thought that i should have been boarded i grew up in montego bay mm -hmm. and when i was as tender age of eight mm -hmm. my mother sent me off to fern court as a boarder okay so i started st Hughes high school in third form mm -hmm. and stayed until uh, a level came yeah, mm. so I graduated in 66. Mm. Now we're not with driving through downtown, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the prominent places you remember? Well, you just passed, back, back behind us was mm. Murphy Bank Hotel. That oh, really? On the pier side? On the pier side, yes. Yeah, Murphy Bank Murphy Hotel. Murphy Bank Hotel was the... It have a history too, though. Oh, yes. It was a prominent, one of the first hotels in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay. See where we're just passing the mm -hmm. craft market now? Mm -hmm. That was um, called Victoria Pier and the ships used to um, dock there, mm. including cruise ships. Okay. Right, so the whole of this waterfront mm -hmm. area, of course all these buildings that you see there are totally new. They weren't right. there, they didn't exist. Okay then. Those days. And then you were talking about like Issa's and Nathan's. Oh yes, well downtown the go-to places were big stores like Nathan's, mm -hmm. Issa's, the London shop, mm -hmm. Time, Time Store. Mm -hmm. Those Time were, Store was, where was? Time, Time Store, store was at the bottom of King Street. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't know what is there now, but it's sort of at the corner of Water Lane mm -hmm. and the King Street. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that was, but it faced on King Street. Okay then. Yes, Time Store. Sto um, was a store for basically books. It was a right. bookstore, but it was also a convenience store. Yeah. So it had it sold things like you know confectionery mm -hmm. and um, some household items and stuff like that. Okay then. Mm -hmm. And then Nathan's was a close. Nathan's department. Both Nathan's and Issa's and London Shop were department stores. Okay. But Issa's, as I was telling you earlier, Issa's and Nathan's were the first stores to install an escalator. Ah. And that was like... So they look at putting them up on it every day. My dear, that was like, <laughs> that, 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 that was, you know, like the, the epitome of modernity. <laughs> so people would come from country just to see this moving staircase and to ride on it up and yeah, down, yeah. up and down. It reached a point where they had to have courtesy cops telling the kids to stop you know oh you know you don't ride the, ele ele the elevator until you the escalator until you uh unless you have some business let me ask you in, in those times was going to the pictures a big thing going to the movies a big oh thing? yes well that was a main form of entertainment so 
so and they had a lot of movie houses, a lot of cinemas. Really? Not like today where you only have palace what? amusement. Right. What are what you have? Right. You had uh, well, let me just crossroads. They had State Theatre. Mm -hmm. You had Regal. Mm -hmm. And you had um, in 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 in, in um, Vineyard Town where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the name of that thing? Rialto, you had the Empire. Mm -hmm. They had so many. Almost every borough, every yes. neighborhood. And had Mona a, Heights had a had drive, a drive through. Right. We had we had about four drive in cinemas. Mm -hmm. We had um Harborview was the last one. Right. But you had, I know Harborview. Right. So Mona. And New Kingston. You had Washington Boulevard was the first. Okay. You had that one on Washington Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And you got one at Mona Heights. Here's King Street now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think Time Store was this building here. Okay, was this one here? Right, right, okay, right. Cool. This was Time Store. Mm -hmm. And London Shop was on this side. So this was the palace. Mm -hmm. This is where I started working. That's how it looked around. Really? Yeah. That, that was Scotia Bank. That was the, you know, it was a, it was a, it, yes, it was a very formidable building. Very impressive building. It mm -hmm. still is. Architecturally, it still is a lovely building. Yes, it is. But they have maintained it, unfortunately. And at that point, See, that was War a, Theatre. The War Theatre was a big thing for you? Oh, yes, War Theatre. What you watched there? Well, the pantomime was the, the, the main thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So, where I know as, um, where I know on Tamrit Camp. Yes, the little theatre. Well. Little yeah. theater. That's a little theatre. Mm -hmm. it's, it's only in the <clears throat> 80s mm -hmm. that they started to move the path. Like when people stopped coming downtown because mm -hmm. of the crime and everything, mm -hmm. they couldn't get what, the clientele. What was the What was the experience like going to War Theatre? Oh, like it was it was it was lovely. Would you go there on a date? Would you go there with your family? Yeah, with what just would, family. Yes, the pantomime was what I went to as a child. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, of course, my parents, my mother would take me because she's the one that was kind of more intellectually engaged. And, mm -hmm. But we could only afford the fall rules tickets. The fall? Fall rules. <laughs> fall, fall rules is the, <laughs> the very last tier, yeah. way up in the roof. Uh -huh. So it's called the fall roof. Fall rules. Uh -huh. But the theater is so impressive. You know, it mm -hmm. had such a lovely auditorium. Yes. So like was an amphitheater, excellent. so the audio is good. Oh don't yes, the audio, don't matter where you sit. No matter where you sit. But going up, you know, when you when you are in the fall rules, mm. you feel like you're falling right down because it's so steep. The steps yes, are yeah, steep. Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever been there? No, but you know what I kind of recollect it or, or kind of compare it to? Um Sabina Park. Because I feel like you can't get a bad seat at Sabina Park. <laughs> yes, like I can't can see every everything. Yeah, visually I can see everything. And the sound was excellent. Oh nice. Yes, it was that you're far away from the stage, but you have a a bird's eye view mm. then. Literally. When you call it fall rules, it's not a joke. You get what, a bird's Was there eye any view. pantomime that stood out to you more than anyone else? Queenie's daughter. Queenie's daughter. Queenie's daughter. That's the one with um that was famous one with Louise Bennett mm. and um Lloyd Kelly Barosh. What was Louise time. Bennett acting like? For you, was it? Oh. Did she have a lot of punchline jokes? Of course, Louise Bennett was. She she was the doyen of the theatre. <laughs> you know what I mean? She yeah. she was. She, oh, Miss Lou was a, quite the icon, a cultural mm. icon in Jamaica. So what? Like and so, Lou and Raleigh. In, in addition to going to the pantomime, she had a program. Um, the Lou and Raleigh show every mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. You try your best not to miss that. On TV? No, which TV? Radio. Radio? Radio! We had a telephone <laughs> radio at home, the old time telephone radio. What them distribute? I used to, no, which distribute? The, the telephone yeah, radio. No, telephone radio was, is a huge piece of furniture, right? It's a huge console mm -hmm. with a cloth cover, quite elegant. So oh, the one okay. that we had, the one that we had also had shortwave mm -hmm. so for instance my father was fond of tuning into Cuba he, right he spoke Spanish you know mm -hmm. having lived half his life in Panama okay so he would also oh, he was at the time when like Bustamante yeah. went to Panama oh yes the, yes, yes and yes, built yes. the canal and them stuff there mm. so he come back in a stylish no, no, way he, stylish so now tell me about the money system because you're working in the bank, bank. you deal with money uh -huh. every day 
it's yeah. confusing, right? Dealing with the whole shilling and shopping. <laughs> yes. So start with me now. With right. But th those were the days before metrification. So mm -hmm. we had pound, shillings, and pence. Mm -hmm. Now the um, there were the main thing was the pound, mm -hmm. and it was broken down. Shillings, 20 shillings will make a pound. Okay then. 20 shillings make a pound. Shillings, so shilling is paper or coin? No, coin, coin. coin. So let's start with the smallest mm -hmm. um, denomination. The smallest denomination was a farthing. Mm -hmm. And it had farthing. farthing. Mm -hmm. Four farthing. Farthings were was the smallest copper coin. Mm -hmm. Probably as small as the old time, five cents. Okay then. Right? Mm -hmm. Four farthings mm -hmm. make a penny. Right. Right? And then the next one up is a penny. Mm -hmm. Right, and then you have the half penny, which you call a penny. A penny. A penny, right? Mm -hmm. So you and a penny, a penny, mm -hmm. a penny and a, a half penny was called quatti. Quatti. Drink was okay. called a quatti. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I think it probably means that because four quatties make a shilling. Well, no, so a quarter. A quarter, right? Mm -hmm. Quarter of a shilling. Then. Quarter of a shilling. Mm -hmm. All right. So you had farthing, mm -hmm. half penny, penny, mm -hmm. and then you had thruppence. Truppons. Truppons, which mm -hmm. is three pence. Right. Yes, yeah, so truppons. Mm -hmm. Truppons, right? So that was the the, the group of copper mm -hmm. coins. The next one up is sixpence, which was the, first, the smallest silver coin. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize any of these items? Well, test your Jamaican knowledge at kareemsquest.com. Sixpence would be used to buy one, like patty. Yeah. Yes, you could get a patty for sixpence. So when you went to Bruce's patty, mm -hmm. right, you would carry what? You have to carry more than sixpence. Yeah, yes, you have to carry, yes. But let me give you an idea of what the value of money. Mm -hmm. I think it was probably where this building okay. is you now. Yeah. Yeah, more than yeah, like. Yes, yeah, 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 still yes, have space. Yes, yeah, still have space here. Mm -hmm. So that's where it was. Mm -hmm. Yes, when you, to give you an idea of the value of money, mm -hmm. 10 shillings would be my weekly allowance okay. that my mother would give me mm -hmm. from school, right? So 10 shillings, that would include bus fare, lunch, mm -hmm. even though I took sandwiches, but you know, to buy a drink or something right. like that. So that was what I could buy. Okay. But see, a party was only six pence. Ah. And the bus fare, mm -hmm. was for uh, each stage of the bus fare was only three Okay, a stage it was like, I was under the Ezra So Miro if you have system. three, so if you have three, Stages to go through mm -hmm. nine pence, not even a shilling. Okay, nine pence for your for your bus fare. Okay. So you worked at you worked at a bank for the two bank. summers, then you went on to university. Then went on to university. What was the social climate like at the university that time, at the time in the country? Yeah. Yes, that was, it was during the um, Shira government, mm -hmm. and I think the government was very conservative. Mm -hmm. And sort of reaction. Independence had taken place already mm -hmm. in 1962, mm -hmm. so we were in a stage of development. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of institutions, like the Bank of Jamaica, like the um, development institutions, you know, mm -hmm. Jamaica Development Bank, the GIDC, mm -hmm. the JNEC, that is the National um, Export. A lot of these institutions were just being established. Right. So we are in this mode of development and so on. But the government was very conservative and remember, a little bit reactionary to the Black Power movement, which was very prevalent in the States at the right. time. Were you there when Dr. King came? Yes, yes. So we are always heavily influenced by happenings in the US. Mm -hmm. So at that time in the 60s, you had the Vietnam War. Right. It was a time of foment, you know, it was yeah. a, the 60s was a really a renaissance you, period. You also had um, Walter Rodney. Yes, so all of, all of this mm. as a background, it was a very, t a time for young people to be engaged and to protest and mm -hmm. people just were so very talk engaged. To me, were you a part of the Walter Rodney riots? Yes, I was. Tell, I me, was. How, so tell me how you got yeah, in. Yeah, but hold on, let me tell you, the atmosphere at the university at the time, mm -hmm. we had um, we had a black power movement, mm -hmm. students were very, there were a set of students that were very activists mm -hmm. against the whole colonial thing. Right. There were people who were very um, opposed to the whole business of the queen coming and ordered the princess 
Princess um, Alice was our Chancellor mm -hmm. and so we had to be courtesy and uh, accepting your degrees from this little white lady and so mm -hmm. on. You know, there were people who were very much against that. We have to right. The whole English system of wearing mm -hmm. gowns and so on. So there was that atmosphere. While the youth may be stronger, the older persons have the wisdom. We can walk faster, but they know the path. It's always a joy for me to be able to just sit down and talk to somebody who has a vivid memory of our history. So I can learn about many of the things that we had to fight for and many of our accomplishments. Now, things like the party and the troopers and all these things kind of be complicated for me. So I'll stick with our current money system. Nonetheless, it was a wealth of information that I was grateful for. As usual, stay safe, 